I shouldn't be the first one to do it twice. It should have been that happened a long time ago. We have scientists that are in any field of science, engineering, math, physicists. I'm a biochemist. We have pilots and test personnel. And that diversity of background and experience, I think, is what makes our astronaut corps strong. I think what is important, though, is that we continue to have young women who are interested in math and science and who want to pursue goals in technical fields because obviously it is possible to achieve. Our upcoming mission, it'll be about five and a half months or so long. It will include things like spacewalks for changing out batteries or moving hardware around on the station. Then we're gonna be conducting scientific research, studying the lack of gravity and how it affects physical characteristics in space. I like to say I've done everything from superconductors to soybeans. That was a lot of fun because my dad was growing soybeans on the ground at the same time. There's also gonna be a really interesting payload that's going to be put in place on the outside of the station. It's called NICER. It's looking at neutron stars. They're actually looking at a way to potentially using software and the periodicity of the radiation from the stars to maybe make a GPS so when we do future exploration missions we'll have accurate knowledge of where we are located.